Leslie joins us now with more from her investigation. Leslie, thanks for joining us. So what was the result of your last blood draw test? Well, like a lot of people, Dr. Ian, I was hoping I had some antibodies, but it turns out I don't have any COVID-19 antibodies whatsoever. But Leslie, it's very confusing to consumers, uh, the whole idea of the antibody testing. First of all, antibody testing makes sense, sense to find out whether or not you actually had it. If you had the infection, your immune system will develop antibodies to recognize it in the, in the future. And so if you do a blood draw, you'll see those antibodies. So it's pretty clear if you've had it in the past. Now, there's so many different antibody tests. How do you navigate which is a fast test, a slower test, more specific? I mean, this is very confusing stuff. It absolutely is confusing to the public. And I'll tell you that one of the antibody tests I received during my investigation was actually recently revoked from the FDA's emergency use authorization list. Now that list is important because it lets people know that the test has gone through some sort of vetting, right? But the test isn't perfect. And it really comes down to, if you look at how the FDA approves uh, diagnostic tests, that takes about a year. These tests got pushed through very quickly. So it really comes down to knowing what tests are on that list because it's the best tool we have right now to know if a test has some sort of legitimacy. What is your advice to consumers who are looking to get an antibody test? Well, you really need to be your own detective. You need to call the place that you want to get an antibody test at and ask them, what type of test are you administering and who is the manufacturer? Then you take that information and you cross-reference it with the FDA's EUA list and you see if it is in fact on that list. Now, to put in perspective for you, there are more than 100 antibody tests right now on the market and there are only 12 lateral flow antibody tests, which are the finger prick tests that I received in my investigation that are on the FDA's emergency use authorization list. So it's really buyer beware. Awesome. Well, Leslie, of course, always great reporting. Thank you for all your investigative work. Thank you, Dr. Ian. We're living in uncertain times. It's tough to keep up with the latest medical headlines. Panic about the market, panicked about COVID. And how do those headlines impact you and your family? <laughs> On season 13 of The Doctors, we want to empower you physically. If I met them at dance, they would meet me at medicine. Man, I love that. Emotionally. If I can change my thoughts, I can change my feelings. And medically. He doesn't have his mask up, which is not a good thing. This is the million dollar question, maybe the trillion dollar question. This is so critical for people to hear. We're giving you the inside track on health and wellness so that you can get back to the life you deserve. It's time to take back your power. The Doctors, now more than ever, premieres September 21st.